saddle here. We are getting back into uh, where the water tastes like wine. And for those of you who have not... Um, those of you who have not... Uh, there we go. I'm trying to get the controller working. Who, who missed it last time. We are a 30-foot skeleton man that's traveling the United States collecting stories. Okay, there we go. Ah, there we go. I don't think we're actually 30 feet tall, we're but... We're a 100-foot tall skeleton man. Where okay. Were we, where were we going? Um, let's look at our map. Let's uh, keep our map and see what we've been doing. Okay. How do I do the map thing? There we go. I'm using a controller now so I can... Oh, toggle map. Exploration. There we go. <coughs> what is that next to us there? Uh, a story that we found. Is that a story? Yeah, I think that's the um, the guy who was digging up bones and was like, "I'm gonna sell these engine skulls as All curiosities," right. and was real horrible and racist. Damn. There's a and we scared him away with a spooky story. We got a lot of... Oh, those, okay, all those icons are stories that we found. Yeah, okay, on the yeah. East Coast. Yes, okay. God damn. All right. So there's a whole city that we haven't really gone to, but there's also uh, that priest man. He's right there in North Carolina. Yeah, he's so not too far away. We also have Dupree down in Florida. I kind of want to go down and talk to Dupree because Dupree is literally down on the, the bell end of fucking Florida. Yeah. Um, and it's a bitch going down there. So I think I just want to go down and, and wrangle Dupree a little bit. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, kind of, kind of optimize our route here. Yeah. Oh, and we can pick up the stories we skipped because we were desperately trying to find a city big enough to buy food. Oh yeah. Perfect. Oh, it's so much easier being able to whistle here like this. Okay, there we go. You share this bus stop with an old man who shifts from foot to foot, thumbing his suspenders and watching the passing traffic with anxious focus. Hey! He blurts suddenly, turning toward you. Wanna hear a good story? Sure! With the air of a man who's distracting himself from something, he stumbles quickly through a tale about the hotel, haunted by the ghosts of twin toddlers. Confusing himself every now and again, backtracking, adding new details out of order, he barely pieces the story together. Hey, wait a second. You suddenly realize that he's told you a twisted version of the story about the silent twins, but massively changed, with whole new chunks you don't remember. It's true! The old man insists, turning his wincing eyes back toward the road. And with that, the conversation seems over. Oh, hey, Loop. Hi, Loop. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that people just don't know how to end conversations. It's like, well, here's a true story. Came by, and they just okay. Time to time to get along. Oh, there's one over here. That might be a money opportunity. Uh, because it's. Just a little X. I think we need money anyway. Yeah, it is. A horse auction. Well-dressed man waves you over. Making some big deals today, he brags. Finger in a bill where you can see. Oh, God, get a room. Get me when, get me when number 60 goes up, okay? You stand in the crowd and wait, then run back to fetch him. He pays you absurdly well for doing almost nothing at all. Nice. I, I sure wish that, uh, I sure wish I could do that. Just... I, I wish it was that easy. Also, I'm doing well tonight, Lou. Thank you. I also am doing pretty darn good. We got Excited here. to be playing this game again. Whoa. It's a double-headed bat. Monkey head sewn onto a fish. Rubber fetuses jarred in formaldehyde. A headless chicken corpse. Lived without her head for months, but she never heard the car. She says in a sad tone. Isn't that a... That, I think that's actually happened. A headless chicken lived for a couple of months. Yeah, I think that is a thing. And, the, and uh, the farmer was keeping the body alive with, like, an eyedropper of milk or something? Yeah, it, he was feeding it. Yeah. Because, like, it didn't have a head anymore. I think it had, like, enough of the brainstem... Yeah, yeah, ...to yeah. continue, like, basic bodily functions, like breathing. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. You have fine taste, I can tell. No, no, no. Not offended. Follow me. She takes okay. past curtain 
themselves into a small tent. Oh boy. No signs or ticket podium. Centered in the room, a veiled birdcage, domed and made of brass. Your host invites you forward. Oh, okay. Inside the cage, a vampire. Oh, it sounds like Loop looked up the chicken thing. Perch. Oh. Squeaks oh, yeah, yeah, the, the chicken, yeah, 18 it's months. A little slower, also squeaks. Meet my beautiful baby boys, Laurel and Hardy. That sure is a name for a double-headed bat. Yeah. With introductions over, Laurel goes back to sleep. Or maybe that was Hardy. Whichever one is still awake watches you with beady eyes. Hmm. The curator mm. curls her knuckles in anticipation. Go on then. Don't be shy. Give him a little scratch through the bars. Okay. I don't think we should free them because there's no way this bat is going to be able to survive on its own. No. Like, there's, there's no way. Nope. So we pet them. We pet them. Laurel and Hardy certainly share a fuzzy belly. <sighs> they both squeak in appreciation of your affection. Aw. Curator Beans. I'm so proud. My big boys can drain a whole herd of cattle twice as quick. Oh. They're so little, though. They are. Oh, also, so the moon is the high priestess. Okay, the halo of the high priestess. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, let's peep at the cards. Uh. Just to kind of remind ourselves what the icons are. Okay. 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 So yeah. Okay. So we've got this is two of pentacles. I think that's that. The bats are right there. That's just what that was. The two of pentacles. Okay. And then the star, the world, the lovers. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then the fool, justice. justice. Yeah. High priestess. Okay. okay yeah. High priestess. All right. Yeah. I don't think we have a moon actually. The wheel. Uh, the wheel of fortune. Um, three of staves. Okay. The queen of cup. Queen of Cup. One cup. She one only cup. has one. Uh, the Empress. Empress, thank you. And the Tower. Uh, nine, nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Yeah. The Sun. sun. The... Emperor? Oh, yeah. the Emperor. Yeah. And the Devil. The Devil. Okay. Do you yeah, wanna... The Emperor looks kind of like a tower. Huh. Just the way the, the little circle kind of frames it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, but yeah, let's look through our stories, too, yeah, and see we what wanna, we got. Do we want to futz around and see what we got here? Yeah, so there's a couple now. Um, when you hover over one icon, uh -huh. uh, go back to the star. Oh, okay. The star. Okay. Yeah, so we can press A to swap story. That tells us we've got more than three stories. Okay. Um, with the star. All right. So and then. What does that eye icon mean? Oh, so that the it's, eye... it's getting traction? Yeah, how evolved it is. So okay. we haven't had the women praying in the woods near Richmond pulled back to us and i don't think we've ever told anybody the story of the farmers yet yeah let's do Jim, um, let's get jimmy's parable in there well okay. i wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that just because um you can use the traveler stories that we find um in place of anything so oh. if dupree asks us for entertaining story after entertaining story we can tell her about quinn and we can tell her about jimmy oh. and we can tell her about um we can tell her about all of the guys all of the people that we have met focusing on what she wants to hear and it'll count but those stories don't grow because they're attached to real people i see it's just like a little freebie story oh okay all right so it's best to stick to the stories that we can tell and that that will come back to us that makes sense to me okay uh so this is the world uh we haven't used the orchard and his dead dog uh farmers who gave you lemonade in north carolina and the thirsty cotton pickers these all sound like sad stories. Yeah. Uh, Killer Pigeons was cr creepy? That was creepy. Yeah, that was a scary story because the pigeons were, like, bloody. Uh, two lighthouse keepers near Portland. That was happy. Uh, the man and the witch in the bayou. That's scary. Probably. We need, yeah. We need some, we need some sad stories, I think. Uh, the deer which chose death over enslavement. That was sad, even though I thought it was funny. Yeah, you thought that was hilarious. <laughs> well, because... Don't know what the determined socialist in New York yeah, is yet. Uh, actually, that's a... let's see what we got to... 
The boy and his dog near Tallahassee. Oh, that's the boy who was like, Paul says he can't come. Do you want to take him? And then the dog ran off. Oh, okay. That sounds like a sad story. Yeah, probably sad. I'm going to put the sad story in. We need those. Okay. So I think all three of these are sad. Yeah, we've got, we're fucking drowning in sad stories. Um, yeah, so sad. Uh, sugar cane cutters blinded to the threat of death near Tallahassee. Uh, that's probably thrilling or scary. Yeah. Uh, Grave Robber, that's thrilling. A spoiler about the deer, you say? Yeah, give us a give us a spoiler about the deer. I'm curious. A uh, taxi which shows its riders the future. That's weird and creepy. Oh, maybe that's That's thrilling. either That's either scary or thrilling. I don't remember which. Uh, seagulls, uh that was hopeful. That was a hopeful story. Man on the, the, man on the... despairing about the future. That's sad. We got a lot of sad. Oh, if you do nothing, the deer just goes on the tracks anyway. No, oh, jeez. The man who seemed all right with death down by St. Petersburg. Uh, that's also sad. Everything I have is sad. Uh, the fortune teller and the curse around Philly. The seance in Alabama. Dupree's tale. Oh, let's swap. Let's get rid of Dupree's tale. The, fi get the fire. Uh, She'd probably like that story. Yeah, we'll slap that in there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, what else we got? Okay, here we go. Uh, the trickster who lures humans with magic stones. Uh, that one was was that one, that was creepy. Storm generated by a gigantic bird was thrilling, and the mysterious thrilling. woman with a letter delivery around Miami. That one was sad. I remember that one. Being that sad. one's that one's funny for some reason. Is it really? Yeah, the characters in this game think it's a funny story. That's fucked up, guys. Uh, all right, those are all. Else Does the man who laughed at the deer committing suicide in front of the train? Okay, I wouldn't say committed suicide because I don't think it saw the train coming. Maybe. Accidental death this was a little funnier. Rail yard is full Ooh. of broken Ooh. old box cars, so of course people are taking shelter here. The looks they're giving you are a little less than friendly. You search around for an empty space to rest. Okay. There's a heap of rags and sticks in the back of this box car. You start digging around, looking for tinder, and the heap starts moving. Hands off, a voice yelps. A long, knotty arm with nails like rusty screws darts out and shoves you Oof. away. Uh, okay. Now I'll you see leave. Big yellow eyes and a flash of snaggle teeth. This is my home. The creature <laughs> informs you. Are you moving in? We well, can't. I have the deed for the car. I do the chores around here. I have a lawyer. I'm respected in the community. Okay, I kind of want to know about the deed because if he has a lawyer, I would like I would love to know about that. I would as well. The creature's muddy fist emerges with an official document. The actual deed for the property. There's even a clause describing <laughs> the boxcar itself. <laughs> Rust and all. The creature's signature is a bloody smear. A yoink! The creature's arm is long enough to shove you all the way out of the door and deposit you outside. You don't come into a man's home and set his bed on fire, he shouts, and slams the wow. door shut. All right, I'm sorry. I mean, thank you for adjusting my little hat, though. <laughs> okay. Owns its own boxcar. Ooh, what story's coming back to us? These fellows are lounging in front of a half-finished office building, taking their lunch break. Hey, one calls, waving you down. Rick was telling us the story. Listen, okay? And you tell us, if it's, tell us if it's bullshit or not. Sure. Rick, a credulous seaman fellow, starts telling you a story about the fisherman and his fish calling, his fish calling seagulls. You realize it's the story of the seagulls and the fisherman, but changed in a few major ways. So it's definitely part bullshit, right? But also a little real. You know what? Uh, this is how, this is how, how lore and myths are made. I say we pr propagate it. Oh, yeah. 
it's not bullshit. No, totally happened. Mm-hmm. Half the group groans. Well, how the hell is that supposed to be a real story? Explains the man who weighed you down. You're, you're all the most gullible pieces of shit I ever met. The other half of the group, vindicated, shares a bottle of pop with you. Aw. Aw, yeah, uh, sodi pop. I got some sodi pop from my 30-foot-tall skelly man. All right, what's this? This club is quiet and cool and open 24 hours. So you slip into a booth near the back where it's too dark for people to see you haven't bought a drink. And also that I'm a giant skeleton. A slight little man approaches the microphone. Ooh, hope he's a good singer. He utters a yeah. long, sustained series of low, loud notes. Dissonant. Like a song stretched out and slowed down. Your heart races. Crowd murmurs and bristles. The walls seem to shift comfortably too sing some happy someone shouts uh let's see where this goes hell yeah half the room bails but you grip Bye, the idiots. edge of the table and lock eyes on the singer his next song is even slower and deeper your eardrums ache and your eyes water a waiter struggles unsteadily across the room someone in the back shouts stop it no no i'm doing this i'm gonna stare down the devil singer oh yeah the singer continues and you lose track of yourself between the notes when he finishes his set you start awake and realize that your face is damp with tears oh the room empty the singer's looking at you smiling arm extended an invitation for a solo uh i'm gonna sing hell yeah lovers huh front row. you sing well something <laughs> you haven't heard it before but you know the words and as you sing a radiant satisfaction grows and grows at the center of your chest. Your eyes tear up, and you hit a triumphant final note. It's love! It's a song about love! But suddenly, love. the song is gone. Blue love. Ears are ringing, and there's a waiter shouting for you to leave. <laughs> Out on the sidewalk, everyone's losing their lunch. You feel strangely warm. Love. A song about love. Too bad you can't remember the words. Oh, time to mosey. Time to mosey. All right, we're heading down the. To see Dupree, right? That's what we decided. I already yep. forgot. Yep. Going to find Dupree. Hey, Dupree, why the fuck are you all the way down here? Get out of Florida, girl. She won't. She should. I agree, but she won't. Uh. Also, yeah, what is over here? I wish I could whistle like that. I know, right? I can't Down whistle. On a sinking limestone cliff, you see the fossilized impressions of crustaceans clearly scattered across the stone. Long ago, this place must have been a shallow sea. Then something strange ahead catches your eye. It's a Ooh. it's a steer man. Leaning against the stone is a figure draped in a black cloth arms crossed with a bull's skull for a head this ghoulish configuration is about 30 paces away from you as far as you can tell hasn't registered your presence 
or even moving. I'ma say hello. I mean, obviously, we're a big skelly we're man. We're a big skelly man. This, this is one of our people. You look down yeah. at your weathered bones. A curse only you can see. <laughs> oh my god. You decide it's best not to be judgmental. Hey, nice. Yeah. You tentatively announce yourself to the figure. Hey. Hey. He calls back. <laughs> in a voice much kinder and softer than you were expecting. You weren't even a little bit frightened, were you? I bet I look. The figure shuffles uncomfortably in its garb. So stupid. It sighs, Aww. reaching up to remove the skull. Behind the mask of bone is a shawl-wrapped young woman, mid-teens and tall for her age. I ruined my dress with this dark dye, too. Mom's gonna whoop me bad, I bet. I keep destroying them, but does she stop making me wear them? No. Turning the skull to face herself, she mimics what you assume is her family. Act like a decent lady, Suze. Oh, don't lose your head, Suze. She pauses, adding quietly. But that's what it feels like. Aw, poor Suze. Yeah. Have you been so close to someone that was like they were a part of you? Losing them would be like losing an arm. Her head. She punctuates her statement by waving the skull around. How would you like it if someone ripped up your head? She asks, hurling the skull as far as she can for emphasis. <laughs> oh, okay. Nod solemnly. Nod solemnly. The girl says, kicking at the dirt. She's my best friend. The girl pauses again. Tears are welling up in her bright eyes. I love her. And she moved away with her family. Gone up north. <laughs> Never see her again. Aww. What? Yeah. No. She balks. I, I, I mean, what's the point? You suggest that writing letters is a way to keep Maddie in her life. At this point, there's not much to lose. The girl considers this for a moment and pulls out a pen and paper from her satchel. Okay, if this isn't a happy story, I don't know what is. Over the next She's going to stab us with a pen. Oh, oh, shit. Writing and rewriting, pausing frequently to regale you with another of Sue's and Maddie's adventures. Under the bridge, the haunted house, a Civil War bullet they found. Finally, she seems satisfied. I'll mail that for That'd you. Be great. She beams. I better go back and get washed up for supper. Maybe hide this dress. She hands you the letter and a few coins. This is to say thank you. And also for postage. Yeah. Aww. I like that. That's one. a cute story. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to put that in the. Uh, I want to put that in our. Uh, oh, journey log. That's a lot stories. of stories. Okay. Uh, okay. I think that was in the lovers. Yeah, that was. Uh, we haven't really used these guys, and we haven't. No. You know, we haven't used this one either. Nobody's asked us for love stories, though. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna slap that one in there. I want to okay. get. I want to spread that one. Yeah. So I think um, after we talk to Dupree, we should hitchhike. Okay. And head up north. Yeah. Back again, again? <laughs> well, look at you. Same as you was. Still nursing this lick I took. <laughs> These couple licks. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm a grown girl, and this ain't the first time it's happened. Yeah, Dupree, you can handle your shit. Let's talk and yeah. drink and maybe play a little cards. Hell yeah. Hey, got any exciting stories? Like the movies? 
Okay. Like the movies? Like the movies? All right, so we need exciting. Yes. Do... Oh, jeez. Uh... Okay. I think Casey Jones is exciting. I mean, he was in the Ninja Turtles. It's true. Let's do it. Well, yeah. Well, they should let you make the movies, honey. Yeah, they should. You yeah, they should. Walk by one place, and suddenly you got a jarring feeling of deja vu. That feeling like you've been in circles, but no one remembers you or knows you're there. That's what life feels like. Like walking in circles like roulette. And sometimes it's your number, and most of the time it ain't, and you gotta store that energy I learned. Store it for when you win. Hey, got any exciting Ugh. stories? That's right, all she movies? wants are the movies. Yep. Uh, was this one thrilling or scary? Um, the Grave Robber. Hard to say. The sugar cane cutters might be thrilling. Oh, yeah. Let's try that one. Uh, oh, scary. scary. Okay. I guess when you've been hurt like that, you wonder what the other person were thinking when they doing the damage. This boy, though, you were patient and fine looking. When I saw him with my baseball bag, I knew. As I ran up to snatch it back, I knew. And when he hit me, it hurt two kinds. It Oof. hurt two kinds. And the kind without the blood hurts the worst. Because the body heals and the mind don't. Is that how it be? Got mm -hmm. any stories with ghosts or murder yeah. or blood or something like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. so many. Oh, so, so many Dupree. Um, uh, no, we don't. Not that one. Uh, that one might be sad. I don't know. Uh, other thirsty cotton pickers. Oh, those are sad. What do we got up in the fool there? Uh, which one was fool? Uh, the right hand side. I'm down. This one. Okay. Uh. All sad. Okay. Yes. Uh, drunken lineman northeast. No. Oh, the seance. seance is probably scary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. Oh, or the, the tell the story of the fire after a poker game. No, it's that the might seance. be more thrilling. I think the seance is more likely to be scary. <laughs> Just what I asked for. Mm. That spooky stuff gets my heart going like a good hand sometimes do. Maybe Lady Fortune has it in for me. I've been losing recently. Uh, her, her eyes open, I think we're, since we're he left, ready like to move on. Iron, he mm -hmm. never left my skin. When I was younger, I hadn't seen all <clears> the ways you can lose. When you're young, you don't even have nothing to lose. You can eat what you like and nothing give you indigestion. Amen to that. Now mm -hmm. I don't say hello at gas stations in case someone somewhere trips on you. Got any stories with ghosts or murderers or blood or something like that? Oh, oh, Dupree. Okay. Uh, did all that. Woman knows what she wants. She does. Uh, anonymous grave? I don't think that's scary. Uh, tell the story of the taxi which shows its rise of the future. Maybe. What else we got? Uh, tell the story of the strange street lost in time. Killer pigeons. Killer honestly. pigeons. There we go. Yeah, there we go. God damn, you're giving me the chills, sweetheart. Hell yeah. You think you know what it is. I think everyone thinks they know what love is. But I feel like I need the ability to disavow. I thought I was in love with the guy who cracked a rib on me, but it was a crush. Oh, okay. It was a little flibberty gibbet caught up on a post in a hurricane. I looked back at it, and it was all his charm, and it won a relationship more than a scam. Huh. Love is dead when you want it to be. I don't think you believe that, Dupree. Hey, got any exciting stories? 
Like the movies? Okay, we had one that we wanted to. Oh, the 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 cards. The poker game. Oh yeah, the poker game. Not that one. Uh, where was it? Oh, was it in here? Did was it? Do we use that? Oh, uh, it might have been. Shit. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, exciting. Uh, ooh, this one. That might be exciting. Yeah, let's, let's do uh, double bats across the sky. Okay. Moral and hearty. Yeah. Quit it, stranger. That sweet nonsense will kill me young faster than. That's a happy do. story. Wow. That's a happy story. Apparently. How is two? How is a two-headed bat a happy story? I mean, is it because it's we gave it taken tummy care of and, and fed? Yeah, we gave it a scritch. Of well, course, it's happy. Okay, we gave it tummy rubs. I guess I could was see. Not answering to anyone. But now, now I, I guess I think it's a man who can see when he's kicking the sick pup already. I mean, at some point, I thought maybe the worldly heights were that man's hands. Fingertips with calluses from cut decks, and as sensitive as could feel a dog in. Oh, and he could make me sing like nothing. He could squeeze every noise out of me. Okay. I mean, this is all, like, a beautiful soliloquizing. I, I don't think people ever talked like this. Do you think people actually talked like this in the 20s? Maybe. I don't know. Ms. Dupree, he'd say. You've got a voice like no one ever been kind of. I thought he was the wisest man for looking at me from the outside. All this heavy stuff, it's nice to have someone to pay attention. Soothe my bruises, let the dice be. Because the, the reason I bring it up is like, because like, man, I would love it if people just talked like this normally. It's it's so poetic and beautiful. You want to play a I mean, like Hillary said, this so woman has had a life. Yeah. I could believe her talking like this. Yeah, what up? Oh, All right, said back up to for a while. You tell me Dupree, please leave Florida for your for all of our sakes. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, I guess we're gonna head back up northward. One of the trigger buttons. There it is. Hey, 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 come on. Okay, I think um, we don't want to hitchhike when the cars are going in the direction we don't want to go. Oh, okay. Like, they're all going south, so. Okay. All right, well. If, if they pick us up, they're going to take us to Miami. Ugh. I just want to get out of Florida. I know. whistle to move quicker. Yep. Mosey a little bit faster. Like, I realize I'm a giant skeleton. I have no muscles, so... But, like... Yeah, you got weak ankles. You gotta take it easy. I got cupcake knees. Oh, no! The cupcake knees have returned. Cupcake knees are back. Yep. Oh, what's that? Story has grown. Oh. To the left there in St. Petersburg. Oh, Luke. oh, yeah, Cupcake Knees. Yeah. When we were playing uh, The Evil Within, our boy Sebastian Castellanos um, was just a, not a great a, pro tag. A, a, a supposedly a practice detective um, could not run for shit. And I joked that his knees were made of cupcakes because, like, he would run like 10 feet and they'd be like, uh, uh, uh. so. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. He so had no stamina. He had zero stamina, so he had Cupcake Knees. He just he couldn't run. Nope. This kindly old man sharing the shade under the bridge with you tells a few rambling stories. Some true-seeming, some conspicuously less so. All true, he assures you. There's history in this place going all the way back to Indian times. Strange stuff happens around here. It can't all be true. Sure it is, he scoffs. And then... As if to prove himself right, he launches into a story about Casey Jones, 
the fastest railroader in America. And this one you know. It's the story of Casey Jones, the fastest railroader in America. <laughs> <laughs> the, the theatrical railroader, but wilder and stranger than you remember. See then, the old man laughs. So I ain't pulling your leg. It's all true. All right. It's all true. I just told that Casey Jones story. Yeah. Hey, hey, what if the Casey Jones story ends up growing into the Ninja Turtle Casey Jones story in the 1920s? I don't think it does, but you keep doing, bud. Hey, we we saw a fish eat a man, and we ate part of that man. We did. That's true. And I think that was good for us because, like, we had half heart. Yeah. It filled us up and, and healed our wounds. Where the... Where the... I'm gonna where the hell is Dupree? Oh, she's way over there. Okay. I think she's right ahead of us. Yeah. Kind of see a campfire. Yeah. Way in I the see distance it. there. I Little see yellow it. dot. She's out over by Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Yep. Oh, wait. Like that, baby. These men lean over the wall of this hardware store, smoking and chatting. They wave you over. Heard this one before? They launch into a group recitation of the sugarcane farmer who took criminals from the jails and worked them in his fields until they died, interrupting one another in their excitement to tell it. You recognize the story. It's a story about the sugarcane cutters blinded to the threat of death. Somebody's added to it in the meantime, though. What do you think? Asks one of the men, eyes bright. You think that really happened? Of course. I, I can't take this from them. Of course. Well, I'm not sure myself, he replies. But damn, it sounds wild. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Thanks for the story. Thanks for the story that I told and did better. My story again. My story again. So what is that? It says, it always says like the, the character's name and then bye. What is that? Whoa! Don't you come no closer. I ain't talking to you. I ain't got nothing you want. Um. Um. So each of these characters was written by a, a separate writer. Oh, okay. Um, so... It was by uh, Kara Ellison wrote this character. Okay, I was wondering. I, I I wasn't sure, but thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay back there. I got a gun on me. What are you doing here? I ain't took nothing from you. It was all in the cards. We're square. Uh. Do you hear what I'm saying? Get going. I'm saying I'll. Oh, well. Fine. You just sit there. <laughs> Damn, she's a real fox. Damn it, Hillary. You ain't got a gun, <laughs> am I, kid? You're no threat to me. You're so gentle and gullible, I ain't sure you really even exist. It's Damn. true. I hustled you good. I ain't apologizing. We ain't going back. But I'll tell you how the game works if you want. My little favor, sweetheart. Now it's your turn. Scare me like you'd scare a good mom. Okay. We need a scary story. Yeah. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, was that Hi. scary or thrilling? I guess we can tell it and find out. Let's see what else we got before we... Uh, those well, these are, are all sad. Sad. Uh, sad. Uh, that one was funny. The Leatherman was funny. Yeah, Leatherman was funny. That one was we want is thrilling. We're gonna. I'm pretty sure that one's thrilling. Yeah. Uh, light. Tell the story of the light from the sky near Richmond. Tell the story of the drunkard lineman in the northeast. That's. I'm the pretty dude. sure both of those are sad. Yeah, that's the dude who fell to his death because we stole his his alcohol. We stole his booze halls. Yes. Uh, anonymous grave. That seems sad. Uh, all those are sad. We have so many sad stories. 
Yeah. This one might be the lo the streak that of lost time. That might be sad because remember we wandered into a guy's house and he's like, "I'm old. Can you read this letter oh, from yeah. my son?" The taxi driver might be spooky. I think Hillary's right. Which one was the taxi driver? Um, it was either in the Sun or the Empress. High Priestess. High Priestess. There we go. Yeah, there it is. So hey, this is the first chapter three we've got going on. I don't think that one will um, work. Are all of the people like cryptid people? Well, so you remember back when we were talking talking to Sting? I mean, yeah. uh, the wolf guy. Yeah. He told us he would give us the ability to see people's true, true selves. Yeah. And this is what we are seeing. You better watch yourself, trusting nice young hustler ladies with a little conversation, with a little card playing, trusting them with your time and your gentle ear. You can't trust any of us. That's what I give you. Next time you see my silhouette, you walk straight on by. Because no one out there can put aside their feral nature. No, sir. I steal because that's what I do. Now you show me how you do it. Pretend I'm a mock and tell me a story to make my heart race. Okay, that one we could do the the story, the fire. Yeah, there we go. The fire. Yep. Come on, work. You yeah. Like that and they'll be all yours, honey. I was so lucky to meet you on the road where you're going. So guileless at me, that face all hopeful like you could learn something. How many chapters did your character have? Four. Three. Three. Oh, okay. I knew mm -hmm. straight away I could hustle you with a few nice play stories. Then words all wound up on a spindle. And you came back to see me, and then I knew you got him, Miss Dupree. The fish is on the line. Come home to mommy. And luck had it. You reeled in. Now it's your turn. Scare me oh. if you'd scare a good mom. Okay. All right, we need scary. We need scary. Uh, nope, not no. that one. Nine of Swords? Uh, elegant woman is small. Oh, no. Was that what I guess sad? that's sadness. I think so. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, we might as well try this one. Yeah, might as well find out. Hey Dupree, can you settle for a hat? Sorry, God honey, damn it. but that just ain't good enough. The sad story is the key of the whole hustle, so you gotta get it right. Was that sad? No, that wasn't sad. Was it? What did she ask for? She wanted scary. Yeah. But the one we gave her was that. Did that ended up be sad, being sad? I I guess it must be sad. We have so many sad stories. We got to get more stories. Look, I'm a grifter, yeah. sweetheart. What did you want me to do? I wanted you to like my stories. Hey, I even did like you. Don't know what made me play against you, but you know that kind of thing is precious around here. It's like gasoline. It keeps us going. It keeps us looking at the horizon. Makes our bellies scratch for dinner. I'm not a saint, and you knew I wasn't a saint when you came here. Okay. Now you show me how you do it. Pretend I'm a mock and Ugh. tell me a story to make my heart lift. You know all of my... Urgh. Okay. It's fine. We can just leave her in Florida and go collect more stories yeah, and come back later. Yeah, we have to. Uh... Tell her about the pig farmers. Why the fuck yeah, not? Yeah, here. Pig farmers. Crazy pig farmers. Sweetheart, did I say I wanted to hear some crap joke? Okay, well, we know that's a funny story now. Okay. Hey, you know we should go see Quinn. Quinn you had know, liked a lot of funny stories. Me, yeah. It's an old trick, a trick of intimacy, see? I rip open my heart, and you feel like the world owes me something. And boy, does it. And then I do to you what the world did to me. Hustle me. Was all of it a yawn? Well, I guess I'll leave you to decide. But rest assured, I feel plenty sorry enough for myself on my own. Didn't you say uh, the um, 
the now stories with the other characters are like freebies. Pretend I'm a mom yeah. and tell me a story to Why don't we use one of those? Place. Okay. Uh I think I'm gonna tell her quit. Sure. Haha, uh -huh, good one. Exciting enough to keep attention, but true enough to trick a monk. I drove through Reno and out the other side, and after that, I thought I'd never meet another gullible mark again, till you. Came a long way just to meet your gentle manner and your patience for a grifter to work her trick on you. Good job, I say. Made it all worth it. Sun's up, so get out. You can see your way to walk, so you ain't got an excuse. It's time to leave. And don't you go where I'm headed. That's my territory next. Okay. But, well... Okay, you ain't no competition. <laughs> okay, she's heading up to Alabama. 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 Like well, she can stay there. It's fine. Put down yeah. by the plow. I hope you've smartened up a bit the next time I see you. Bye, Foxy Lady. Bye, Dupree. Sorry you're so full of hatred. I know, right? Okay, so let's... 